A young woman found dead, her ex-boyfriend now a prime suspect, a man who sat down with us just days ago, telling CBS 13 he was committed to finding her. The next day, he tried calling her, sent her a message to let her know her mom was worried. No reply. That was five days ago. Tonight, the man police believe is responsible for Karen Garcia's murder is on the run. Good evening. I'm Tony Lopez. And I'm Christina Janes. CBS 13's Macy Jenkins is live in Calusa County with this developing story. Macy? Well, Tony and Christina, this tragedy just continues to unfold. Tonight, the Garcia family held a viewing for 19-year-old Jessica Garcia, who was killed in a collision in Woodland eight days ago. And yesterday, her sister Karen Garcia was found dead in Woodland as well. Now, police are on the search for the person they believe killed her. Try staying strong for her. Salvador Garcia. Distraught over the disappearance of ex-girlfriend Karen Garcia. Try my best to stay strong. Four days later, Karen's body was found in her car in a woodland parking lot. It looked like an upscale enough car that no one was just going to leave it there. And five days after this emotional interview with Garcia, Calusa police say he's their main suspect in Karen's murder. Yeah, it's terrible. Karen was last seen on January 8th, leaving this Calusa apartment she shared with Salvador and their daughter, Aviana. Officers with Calusa Police Department searched the apartment on Friday, January 12th. Inside, they found blood, indicating foul play. Police also found blood in Salvador's car, and now they're scouring through Woodland surveillance video to figure out where he is now. Did she say where she was going? No, she just said, well, I'm taking off. I thought she was going to her mom's house. Adriana Floriano lives near the Garcia family and says she's shocked Salvador is a suspect. He went to the school with my son, and there was like... Good boy. Neighbors now looking for answers. I want to know why. Why did she deserve this? She's only 21 years old. She has a child that's two years old. She has a life to live. She has a mother that needs her. And it's not fair. Karen's friends say they are still stunned at this unbelievable situation. A funeral for Jessica Garcia is planned tomorrow in Williams. So much heartache and still a lot of questions. Macy, thanks in Calusa County Live for us tonight to watch the entire interview with Garcia's ex-boyfriend. And now the main suspect in her murder, head to our website, cbs13.com.